Ralph Rannick is an interim manager of Manchester United. I think we can all agree it's been it's been a failure. Down to the players, down to Rannick, all combined. It's not been good. But I firmly stand by the fact that Ralph Rannick was brought in first and foremost not as an interim manager. He hadn't managed a team in over two and a half years. He was brought in for the consultancy that's coming next. And now that we've got clarity on what this role is, this dual role with Austrian national team, what is it? Radnick speaking in his press conference ahead of Brentford has really detailed exactly what his recruitment plans are for Manchester United and for Eric Ten Hag. And in this video, I'm going to run through them all in some real detail with you because it's we finally got some clarity on what his role is, what he's going to be consulting on and where he fits in alongside Eric Ten Hag. So please watch this video. Hopefully you enjoy it. As always, as I say at the start of each video, please, if you do enjoy it by the end of it, consider subscribing to United People's TV. But this one is a really, really important one because we've been waiting for clarity on what Ralph is going to be doing. Let's hear from the man himself from his press conference ahead of Brentford and assess and look at the points that he raises about the recruitment. He's made it clear it's going to all be about recruitment where he falls in line. So let's listen from Ralph. And what you can see on screen is the questions and you'll also hear from Ralph as well. Let's go for it. For me, the most important bit is, is recruitment now. Um, this is for me yeah, the most vital point uh, that we bring in the best possible players, and uh, yeah, and speak about that. Uh, who could that be? And then it's not only ad about identifying those players; it's also then about meeting them, uh, convincing them to to join this club, uh, even though we will not be playing in the Champions League. So, um, yeah, this is, this is what I see as the most important bit. And then again, also with regard to talented, top talented players for the academy, um, identify those kind of players. We spoke about Mason Greenwood. He was probably one of the most talented players uh, in the last couple of years. And uh, yeah, this is for me again right now for the next one, two years, the most important part. Ralph has made it clear that his focus is going to be on recruitment, the recruitment side of things. And, and, we're, and uh, I've detailed a lot of stuff here on United People's TV about the problems at Manchester United. Ultimately, the recruitment has been a fundamental part of why we've messed up so bad in the last 10 years and why we're in the position we're in, wasting a billion. But his use of words there, he's talking about not only identifying the right players, meeting them, convincing them to join the club. It's recruitment is a whole process. It's not just simply about identifying the right player to sign. And it's as simple as that. Bring them in, all done and dusted. It's, it's a whole process which a team has to do. Now, Matt Judge has obviously left as director of football negotiations. He was, he was the man who was uh, in charge of sort of going out and meeting players, convincing them to join United. Imagine trying to be convinced by Matt Judge to join United. Obviously, Jim Lauder has left, chief scout. Marcel Bout. Head of Global Scouting. Well, I'm not sure what their roles are, but both of those two have left the club. Someone like Paul Mitchell hopefully will come in and be that new chief director of negotiations when it comes to transfers. But Ralph's clarity there on, on the recruitment being his pure focus gives me real belief about going forward. And let's see what else Ralph had to say, because it's very interesting to hear him detail his plan. This is the second point he had to make. Well, I my personal opinion is that uh, the club should... Uh should try to find future top star players and develop them and uh, uh, again on the other hand just tell me five players that might be some of those players that you spoke about and Haaland, yeah, but, Haaland, but, 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 but Haaland is a young player he's he's 21 this is a, or 22 this is a this is a this is one of those players I spoke about but on the other hand he has developed in the last two years uh, into one of probably the most expensive strikers uh, in in the world, but yes, he he could be he would be one of those examples uh, where I think uh, the focus should be on to 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 try and identify and find and then convince players um, who could be Manchester United players uh, for the next couple of years. Now, I completely again. I, uh, this is this has been a big. A uh, bugbear of mine. We've Man United have tried to repeat uh, and replicate the success of the Galacticos. 
uh, it would be miserably failed uh, in signing the likes of, we went after Fabregas. Remember that summer in Moyes and then we ended up with Fellaini. We tried for Bale and that blew up in our face as well. We were going to sign Cruz, that didn't happen. Uh, so many other examples of just failed big name signings at Manchester United. Di Maria, obviously the biggest example of, oh, you can throw Paul Pobres down as an example of that. Maybe Romelu Lukaku you want to throw in this. There's too many to name. I don't really like the idea that maybe I'm just looking into it a little bit too much. He was he was speaking about convincing players who could be United players for the next couple of years. Because that's a sort of Dortmund and Leipzig model, isn't it? Bring a player in, turn them into superstars and then let them leave. That's not exactly what I want at Manchester United. I want them to be superstars at Man United and stay there at the peaks of their powers. But just like Ronaldo had his dream and we let him have his dream, some, certain players want to move on to different clubs. So don't begrudge him there. But Ralph is so spot on, man. We need to move away from that big name signing. We shouldn't be looking at Harry Kane this summer. Even if Harry Kane would be, and he would be a great signing, man, 100 million plus though. We should be going out and signing a player who's like 50 million, who grows into that and then gains a loyalty to Manchester United. We then have a player who we do have a resale value. It just makes perfect sense. We need to change that strategy. And I think Ralph is really, really pushing that. And to hear him say that, for me, it's a very good thing. And another reason to be optimistic about the future when it comes to our signings. Let's go on to see the next point that Ralph has to make. As I said, a very, very interesting press conference this was. As a club, with regard to supporters, stadium, uh, quality of our training ground, yes, it definitely is. But we also have to be realistic. Uh, as soon as other clubs like Chelsea, Liverpool... Um, Manchester City are involved uh, then you need some some good reasons and somebody needs to explain to the players uh, and that's why it's also very important to what Eric thinks and uh, I, I only know that from my time with uh, with uh, Leipzig and, and Salzburg and I also know it from from Jürgen and from, from Thomas um, if they want players they're also involved they speak to the players and the same is probably true with uh, Pep they will invite the players themselves and it's also about speaking to those players and find out about their mentality, about their character. Are they really players who are the best possible fit for this club? And again, <laughs> I, 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 I suppose it's the same as the whole way through, Ralph Rannick. I find myself just nodding and agreeing to everything he's saying there. Signing a player isn't just about, it's not as simple as how much is that player, or maybe on paper, is it? how much is that player worth, how much do you want, done, let's go. Convincing a player to like Jude Bellingham was an example where I think we actually tried to, we did try with Jude Bellingham from Birmingham. I don't know why it always sticks in my mind, but it does. We invited him to Carrington. We invited his family to Carrington. Fergie came in. We tried to swoon him. He chose Dortmund and no one can begrudge him that choice. But it's about bringing players in that want to play for Manchester United. And that is kind of part of what he's saying here. It's about, it's about them meeting the manager, about them meeting Eric Ten Hag, about them meeting and probably buying into the process, not simply going, how much am I going to be paid? Where do I sign? Which is exactly what so many of our signings have done, that the, 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 the affection to the club doesn't go further than the paycheck, which happens with a lot of modern footballers. It's kind of the way that football's gone. But as Ralph is alluding to here, it has to be a deeper process when it comes to transfers in properly identifying the right ones. Because if you do that, if you, the manager goes in and the manager does speak to that player, he'll know whether they've got the right mentality, whether they really are the right players for Manchester United. And sometimes the right player on paper won't end up being the right player in reality. And we found that out too late, too often. And that has to change. We have to start hitting the bullseye a bit more, man. And I know it's painful to, to keep talking about how well Liverpool have done, how well City have done. But it's just the truth, man. It really is. And we have to replicate their successes and beat their successes and start setting the trend so they have to start replicating what we're doing. It's been a long time since we were the trendsetters. We haven't pre been proactive as a club for a long time. We've been reactive and slowly reactive. Time to switch that mentality. And that applies to recruitment as well. And that is exactly what Ralph Rannick is trying to get across in these points. As I said, very fascinating press conference and very fascinating points. And this was the next uh, point he made when he was asked about recruitment in the next question. I mean, again, we, we just need to look into, into the other clubs, into the other top clubs in England and, and uh, in some areas also in other, in other countries in Europe. I mean, what kind of players do or did they sign in the past? And um, yeah. I think then you get the answer yourself. Now, it's not simply 
It's not as simple as Ralph is putting it there. He goes, uh, the question was asked about, do you think the perhaps the United aren't the asking, do you think United are open to players that perhaps aren't the ready-made stars, but the next ones along the line? And that's what we talked about earlier in the video. It's about a blend. The perfect blend has to be lots of these exciting, talented youngsters in between the age range of about 20 to 24, 25 maybe alongside that real experience. We've got the experience. We've got the gold dust experience in Cristiano Ronaldo. We've got Rafael Varane. There's elite experience inside that squad. There's not enough young, hungry players to blend with it and maximize that experience. It's the only reason that the class of 92 was successful when they came through, because they came through into a team with Keane Cantona, Bruce. They had so many characters to learn from and be around. That's the reason they were successful. So Ralph there is saying, look, again, he's right, though. He's right and wrong. It's about the blend. City haven't just signed burgeoning young talents. They've signed established quality when they've needed to. The same with Liverpool. Sadio Mane from Southampton was a signing who was, uh, you know, when they signed him, there was a crack in signing. He grew into a star. But then they got Alisson and Van Dijk. And again, Van Dijk from Southampton. But the amount they paid for him, it was a ready-made star that fit into their squad. It's about the right players. Sometimes it's the ready-made stars, but what United need right now is not a bunch of ready-made stars. And again, this is, the, this is really a point that Ralph is pushing, that youth, the youngsters, are the signings that United should be going towards making rather than ready-made stars. And let's go down, and this is the final question that he was asked. Now, the context of this has changed a little bit, given that Matt Judge has gone since this question was asked, but this is what he, was said, this is what he said when he was asked about can you understand the fans' worry? It's not up to me to, to, to speak about that right now, but uh, it's obvious that the club and the, the team needs more players uh, for the very reason that quite a few players have uh, no contracts anymore and that some other players are not available anymore. Some players want, might want to get more game time uh, and are on loan already. So for me, it's obvious that, that the club needs, I don't know, quite a few new players and uh, I already told you how I see that. For me it's important that uh, the club identifies scouts and then recruits uh, those kind of players that can help Manchester United to, to develop into one of the top teams again and therefore you need both mentality, quality, physicality, pace, skills, you need the full package. I know that people are concerned about Ralph going in this 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 dual role. Uh, but when you offer a man a job that's six days a month, you can't be surprised that he looks elsewhere. But again, that little bit at the end there, I, I think fans have had every reason to be worried that all this talk from Ralph and all these positive notes, that it ultimately wouldn't make much of a difference unless the club behind the scenes starts to work properly. And with Matt Judge gone, with the two chief scouts gone, and hopefully Paul Mitchell coming in and the new direct, deputy director of football coming in, the structure's really starting to fall into place that would allow Eric Ten Hag to succeed. And the successful recruitment has to go on top of that. But the bit at the end there is probably the bit I want to end on as well. I think it's really important the order in which he named the qualities that were, that were needed in, in these new signings. Mentality first and foremost. Then quality. Physicality has to be part of it. Pace skills you see skills is the last thing the talents the last thing it, it it's everything else preludes it the mentality the quality and the physicality three things that we've been lacking so much but as i said i i found this press conference pretty fascinating because ralph as he always has been the entire way through very honest very open about what he thinks needs to change at manchester united he's not hiding anything how much influence can he have in those six days i don't know I feel that as long as these sorts of points that he's making about the right players to sign, about the strategic process of transfers, about the players we should be looking for, players we shouldn't be looking for, there's so much right advice that has to be listened to. And I'm sure, I hope, well, I'm not sure it will be, but I hope it will be. And I personally think that he'll be able to advise and help United in the right direction moving forward, even if it's only these six days a month and combining it with a consultancy role, I probably would have preferred him to be a little bit closer to United, to have a more of a full-time job. We didn't give it to him. That's our own undoing. But let me know what you think about Ralph's comments here on recruitment. I think it's a really fascinating insight into the changes that are going on behind the scenes, the sort of advice that John Murto is getting and, and the fact these, these sorts of conversations are driving the, the sorts of changes we're seeing at our club.
that we've needed for a long time. I want to know what you think about them as always. As I said, if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like on it. Please subscribe to United People's TV. But tell me what you think about Ralph's plans for recruitment under Eric Ten Hag.